Welcome back to my Let's Play for Prism Chapter 1, The Dark Unicorn. It's time to return to the Gnome Hills and hit up the Sunset Vineyards. Hopefully, you know, they're relatively more beautiful than the last couple areas, because let's face it, I'd like to avoid active volcanoes again for a while. I'll be at the boss where Troll Mountain is literally, like, hides inside lava, so you have to, like, time your attacks real carefully. It's a pain in the butt to deal with them. Though I suppose there are worse bosses to fight, though the final one's probably the easiest and quite a bit of a joke, to be honest. Because you actually can lock onto him while he's in midair and just blast away at him. Sure, he sometimes get out, gets out of the zone, but as long as you stay your distance, you know, you can eventually pick him up again and start shooting at him while leaving his flowers alone, so... You don't have to do any, like, long or hard fights with the boss. Like, all this trouble he causes, and he's probably the easiest boss to take out. So I actually ups updated their um, walkthrough in this game based on um, what I did, so at least I got to contribute to, you know, a walkthrough on how to beat the game, you know? Now, let's see... This area is pretty straightforward at first, you know? Very obvious pass for the first couple. You know, without needing to do any backtracking to a previous flower to go anywhere. So it's so that's nice, at least. Of course, I can't seem particularly fond of these battle sheep, but hey. It is what it is, you know? Yeah, battle sheep. Now let's see, we can go this way and get back out and go around, you know, down here to this next flower. Very straightforward path. You know, we got, it's got two guards on it. They're kind of more annoying than anything, because they just throw boomerangs at you from a distance. So, you know, you got just boom, take care of them real quick. In fact, both of them are kind of close by this time. Nice. Uh, gosh darn it, that pig's trying to be annoying. Keyword on trying, because, let's face it, it's not going to really succeed. Keep that path in mind, because we're going to have to go back through there at some point. For now, we need to find the straight path to this thing. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, there's only one target in here worth actually dealing with. And it was right there. Gosh darn that pig, it's moving too fast. Get back here, you annoying piggy. I need you to get off that flower so I can purify it. Ugh. Usually it hangs out closer to the flower. For whatever reason, that one decided I just wanted to get far, far away. Whatever, I don't care if that stays purified or not. I mean, if it wants to, it can chase me down. But for now, we want to go through here and just go straight through um, where we couldn't go through earlier. Because the path was being blocked by that vine. Oh yeah, we want to go around this way. And try and avoid the um, water if you can. It's poison, obviously. It's all dirty mutant water, so you don't want it. It's polluted. And just stepping in it hurts you, so just try and stay a safe distance away. And this flower's also got two guards, and they also like hanging on the outside. So even when you cure the flower, they'll still turn back to normal eventually. But, you know, we can at least get this one, you know, fairly easily, I think. But you gotta make sure you get into the barn quickly after this. Because, you know, they'll transform back eventually, so you wanna get in here and take this flower out. Now you actually can navigate through this barn in order to get to the boss flower, um, using some careful place jumps. But even if you get up here right now, you can't get to the flower because it's, you know, the pass block. But at least you can jump through the barn if you want, if you want, want to go for some healing around the corner. But for now, we need to go this way. And take this path to get to the next flower. Actually, it's hanging out right in the open. Pretty sure it's only got, like, one guard on it, too, so... This is a pretty simple one. We just gotta get to the guard. Okay, there he is. Okay, we got the guard. Now to get back in the game and try and get this far real fast and just bam! Done. Now we gotta backtrack to the previous flowers. We're gonna take this path back up. Oops. Stopped running while I was trying to walk up a slight slope. Kinda foolish. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, I know there's a gap in there, but you don't fall into it, so it's fine. Like I said, we could go through the barn. I'm just not going to bother, because it's usually more trouble than it's worth to do that jump. Not impossible, mind you, because I showed you can do it. Just annoying. 
Oh, okay, we need to get the pig too. I'll bet the pig tends to be a much more easy target sometimes, you know, because it likes to come at you head on. Okay, let's get this flower real fast. You also can, you know, push that one flower target away if you want. Got it, just barely. Ugh. But yeah, you can push the pig off the edge if you get lucky, or even push that guy off the edge and move him into the safe areas. You are a faithful child. Well then, let your lessons begin. You may ask me one question. Who are you? Once, I was the noblest amongst the noble. The highest sorcerer amongst my people. But now I am a vessel of evil. Slave to the power I so foolishly thought I could control. I am what you, my child, will become if you continue your quest. Yeah, I have no idea what he was saying there. Um, my fans on, and quite frankly, the, he's very quiet when he talks. He, like, whispers to the ominous warnings about how if you try and stop what he's done so far, it'll just make things worse. Because he assumes, you know, you can't cure him of the plague, and if you cure him, the only way to save people is to cure him, ultimately. Because you purify all the lands, it'll free him to move again. Um, let's see. Next time, I guess, we'll be returning to the Nymph Marshes. Well, that's for next month. I believe at this point. I think we got all episodes we're doing this month recorded at this point. Let me double check real quick. The answer on that is yes. Yes, we do. Okay, good. I could use a break from, you know, being a unicorn running around, jumping around, and throwing around magic right now. Till next time, then. See ya.